The recent improvements at the Gary Chicago International Airport, along with completion of a new, longer runway, are renewing hopes that the facility can become a vital economic engine for the city of Gary and Northwest Indiana. Gary Mayor Karen Freeman Wilson joins me now to talk about the impact both the airport and the air show may have on the entire region. Mayor, thank you for joining us here on Lakeshore Report. Thank you for having me today. Right. Well, Mayor, $174 million project extended by, what, 1,900 feet. What will this do for the Gary Chicago Airport? Well, it will open up a myriad of opportunities that are made a or that are made easier because you have a longer runway you can carry more weight on the plane therefore more fuel you can also go to longer distances and so there's an opportunity for commercial service okay. to places like las vegas and mexico and other uh, places destinations where people are more apt to fly from this area there's also an opportunity to fly cargo from this area well, Mayor, you know, people want things done overnight, but can you talk a little bit about the logistics of getting this project done to extend the, the runway, the new, the main primary airport? It took like a 10-year effort, correct? It was a 10-year effort, and people got frustrated because they said, how hard could it be to simply pour 1,900 more feet of concrete? Well, it wasn't that easy. We were negotiating with three Class 1 rail lines. In fact, we disrupted one of CN's most um, profitable lines during the course of the construction. You also had Norfolk Southern, you had CSX, you had contaminated sites on the airport property. We had to negotiate and navigate through all of that. Now, Mayor, today you had a ribbon cutting for the new runway, a lot of dignitaries in attendance. You know, there's still a talk about a third Chicago area airport for Gary, Gary being that. Does this help Gary kind of achieve that goal? It absolutely does. As a result of the Gary Chicago Compact, Gary is in fact marketed and in reality the third airport in the Chicago Aviation District. And so this allows them to look at other commercial service. It also allows for um, the uh, po possibility of corporate service and we have a ton of that already but we can take even more service from the Chicago airports. Okay well new primary runway longer air show well what's next for the Gary Airport? Well we are looking also at development in the airport footprint so it's not just on the airport but it's in adjacent properties we've seen Carmuse Line expand there we also have interest and other manufacturers who want to go into that footprint in the Buffington Harbor area. We're also expanding or improving Airport Boulevard, which will be extremely important to our current and future customers. What do you think, what would you like to see happen at the airport, say in the next six, six months to a year? Well, certainly I'd like to see a commercial carrier. We all would, mm -hmm. but in addition, to that, I would like to see the employments increase. So whether those employments are because of corporate jets, whether those employments are due to cargo planes, or whether those employments are because we now have service to Las Vegas, that's what we're looking for right away. Is patience the key though to some people wanting to see things happen overnight? Well, we know that patience is extremely important, but I think it's also good to be a little impatient to have a sense of urgency because when you have that, when you understand how vital it is to the city of Gary because of jobs to Northwest Indiana, then it makes you move faster. Well, I wanna thank the mayor of Gary, Karen Freeman Wilson for joining us here on Lakeshore Report. Thank, thank you, Thank you for having me.